right. Welcome to another edition of the nighttime version of Driving Perilously, turning the radio on and speaking about whatever we find, which I generally interject, in, in, interject something from my career that's going on. So it's 9 o'clock. On a Saturday, the regular crowd shovels in. No, it's 9 o'clock. Rehearsal was just ended. I also had an audition today. They were kind enough to do the audition. The very start of the auditions, uh, just me and the director and artistic director. That was very kind because they knew I was in the tech week for Alice in Wonderland. That was nice. There are three roles that I'm in consideration for in... Heathers. So Veronica's dad, the coach, and the principal. So we'll see if I get one of those. I would say I might. Who knows? You can't really count on these things. We had, I think, 100 people audition, which is wonderful. And let's see what's on the radio. A chance encounter with Frank Sinatra led to a plane ticket to New York and a job as the house pianist and Jilly. It's not too simple. Not too late. (laughs) So that's the Sweat Hotel. I don't know what Keith Sweat's birth name is. I doubt if it was Keith Sweat. Um, (laughs) And he has a radio show entitled The Sweat Hotel. I don't know how long it's been on the air. I run into it sporadically, listen to him talk to people on the phone, and then he plays some music. (laughs) Some sweaty music. Interesting. Interesting career choice, right? I think it's probably working for him. All right. Next. brown-eyed girl. Such a good song. Sounds older than it is. Let's see what else we got. excellent voice this man has. It's ttb.org through the Bible broadcast.org. The gentleman's no longer with us, but they play his radio program. J. Vernon McGee. He stands for John, but there's lots of Johns in his family. Um, so I guess there were less Vernons, so they called him J. Vernon. I'm not sure, certain about that. But what a wonderful Texas draw that man has. And what an interesting theologian he was. Um, The first time you hear J. Vernon McGee, Dr. J. Vernon McGee, you're probably going to just be taken aback by the way he speaks, his accent, and his pronunciation of words. But then, if you listen a couple times, you get totally used to that and start listening to the actual content of his words. Let's see if we can, if he started talk or if the interviewer is still, the, the um, announcer is still talking. You helped us systematize into yeah. the culture of Through the Bible and our, and our listening family with our world prayer. Yeah, they're talking about the world prayer team. Um, so let's, let's wait a minute. Dr. J. Vernon McGee. It's good stuff. You want a character study, a voice to um, make a character out of, just listen to J. Vernon McGee. I already, even as a board, uh, board of directors tonight, yes. we're getting together and we're going to go to... Yeah, it's going to be too long. we got to move on. And as is my custom, I like to hear the story of God's great and people's lives. Your 
movies or this is a movie? This is just a movie. Guy is bad at everything. The guy is bad at everything. No idea. No idea. No clue. Unnatural. of course is Whitney Houston's version of Dolly Parton's I Will Always Love You. There's also a version by Linda Ronstadt, which is very nice too. Um, there's lots of versions of that song. It's kind of hard to mess it up. Um, but of course, Whitney doesn't mess things up, and she does a great job of that. Um, nice little saxophone solo there in the middle of it. Um, Dolly brought it to the top of the charts a couple times. I, I know the top at least once, but then she brought it back. I think to the top again and then Whitney just knocked it out of the park didn't she so rest in peace Whitney keep going Dolly Dolly was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame this year um, when it was announced that she was nominated she said she wasn't going to accept the nomination well she didn't say that she, she encouraged other people to be voted for since she didn't consider herself a rock and roll artist um, she said she might actually record a rock and roll album her husband wants her to and wouldn't we love to hear her do some actual rock and roll but she certainly does a lot of covers of songs and makes them sound country even if they didn't start out um, check out her um, Stairway to Heaven for instance um, it's, it, it brings it back to some of that British Isles um, folk-ish music. She does a great job with that rock standard and others, of course. Um, so congratulations, Dolly. Rest in peace, Whitney. And I hope this video finds you doing well. This is the nighttime version of Driving Perilously. And of course, the thumbnail always looks much more dramatic <laughs> than the content. <laughs> All right. Take care. As Hoodna One would say, good night, good evening, and good morning.